Hey, what's up guys? Uh, are y'all out shooting today? That's awesome. Father and son. That's really cool. What in the world is that? Oh, this it's uh, my new 1911 from Robert's Defense. It's pretty sick, dude. It's like handmade. It's really, really nice gun. Oh man, that's about the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Daddy, will you tell us the story of the Kick 6? Well, sure I will, baby doll. That was a beautiful day in our people's history. Hey, uh, I don't I don't mean to be rude, but I'm going to go ahead and shoot while y'all tell your story, okay? I mean, if you got to interrupt our story, I guess. God, no culture. War Eagle, by the way. Yeah, man. Uh, roll Tide right back at you. Well, he's definitely not going to like this. What's up, church? We got a beauty of a gun for you today. The Roberts Defense 1911. This thing is handmade, basically. Um, and it is, it comes with an Ed Brown barrel. Um, they actually, the guys up at Roberts Defense actually uh, tweaked this one for me a little bit, made it roll tide edition. So, you know, I had to do it week of Auburn, uh, Alabama game and the Iron Bowl. I had to make the video this week, but uh, we're going to get shooting this thing, and i tell you what, it's like butter, like butter, baby, like butter. All right, let's hit it. Let's take it out there to the 60-yard, uh, see if I can... How am I missing? So just to kind of go over some things while I'm loading the mag, these uh, these guns, Robert's Defense, was purchased uh, by D-Boss Firearms. Um, I'm not exactly sure when that happened, uh, but when it did happen, they uh, started remaking the Robert's Defense 1911s, which had not been produced there for a while. Um, and so this is kind of one of the first ones that they've made. Uh, it took a while for them to make it. They needed to, to get, you know, into the the role of things and, and really figure out how to do it and how to make it the way they wanted to make it but they uh, have done that and this thing is perfect they're out of oshkosh wisconsin um and these guns are custom order only at the moment they're working on getting uh some ways that they can uh, do some online orders and things like that, but right now you, you basically have to call Robert's Defense or D-Boss Firearms to get one of these guns. Um, I will tell you, it is worth it. They are very expensive, so um, if you're a 1911 guy, you know, and, and you love these types of guns, you will love this gun, but, but they are kind of priced out of uh, some people's range, mine specifically. There is no way that I would be able to pay for uh, a handgun like this, especially a 1911, y'all know I crack jokes on 1911s. I love them, but I'm not going to carry one. And um, so for that reason, you know, it would be kind of strange for me to own one like this unless they had uh, hooked it up and, and made this possible. Um, but this, this trigger, uh, as you can see, it's clear. Uh, this trigger is basically nothing that's all it is um, and then you got your reset I mean it is nothing dude the trigger is absolutely the best trigger that I have ever played with um, in a handgun you know you get some some glocks and some other guns with you know really really high-end triggers and yeah you you can probably replicate that but for a uh, what what would be considered a stock trigger on the gun i mean this gun is exactly the way it came out of the box they didn't soup up the internals at all for me uh they just seracoded it 
in the Alabama uh, theme. But, you know, for, for what is basically an out-of-the-box 1911, you know, for that price range with that kind of trigger and um, you might not be able to see this, but it does have an Ed Brown uh, barrel inside of it. Um, you know, for that, for that amount of money, it's really not that bad. It's just if, you know, if you're cheap like me, guns like this are kind of out of your price range. Um, so let's get back to shooting it. I will tell you, the tolerances on this thing are absolutely absurd. Uh, it doesn't want to shoot, and that's probably because of the Cerakote and it needs some time to wear in and so forth. But this thing, I mean, you gotta, you gotta really jam the mag in there. You really gotta rack the slide. In fact, uh, there we go. It takes a lot of effort to, to manipulate this gun. It is brand new. It's had 15 rounds through it at this point. So, you know, there's only so much you can do about that. But, um, but the tolerances are really good, which also means that it is a hand-built, performance-driven 1911. I mean, it's built to do that. So, you know, you get what you pay for. You pay a lot for this. You get a whole lot out of this gun. So this thing, like I said, Ed Brown barrel, comes with fiber optic sights. They tricked it out with the Cerakote finish for me in the Alabama Roll Tide. Um, and I'm actually going to put in the video of me accepting this gun at my local gun shop when they mailed it to me because I think it's really funny. Uh, but we'll show that here in just a minute. Um, but this thing is a beauty. I've never felt a trigger like this. I honestly have not ever felt a trigger this good. I don't even have a phone or nothing, but uh, my buddy at D-Boss Firearms, Dustin, up in Wisconsin, um, about a year ago texted me and said that they had something in the works for me um, and that he would get back with me whenever they got it worked out. Well, I just got a call from Shooters of Columbus uh, that it's here and uh, I'm super excited. I have no idea what it is. I have, a, I have a slight clue of what it is, but he has kept me in the dark about pretty much everything. And so I left my office and raced over here as quickly as possible. I don't have a, a camera or nothing. I've got my little tripod and we're about to go in here and we're about to uh, do an unboxing right here in the middle of shooters of whatever he just sent me. So let's have at it. I have no idea what's in there. But they've been working on it for a year, so whatever it is, it's probably pretty How awesome. How did you wind up in this position to get a gun <laughs> that you have no idea what it I make is? A lot, I, I make a lot of um, fart jokes on the internet, uh -huh. <laughs> basically. So I make gun content online on TikTok and YouTube. And uh, so D-Boss sent me a message last October and said, hey, we want to do something. Uh, what's your FFL? And then about two weeks ago, he was like, hey, it's done. We're sending it. And I was like, stop, don't send it to Big Daddy because they are no longer here. <laughs> send it to shooters. <laughs> so, so let's see what we got here. I don't know, have y'all looked in it? I'm the one that checked it in. Okay, so you know what's in it. I know what's in it. Okay, uh, yeah, let's do it. Are they the kind of people to get snarky or? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, they're a little sarcastic. So that makes me scared okay. of what's in this box. But let's figure it out. All right. What we got here? Are you sure you? There's a big wiener on this gun. I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. It's slightly less humorous. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look. That's amazing. Okay. This is hilarious. I, I love it. You were Georgia Bulldogs. Fan. No, you absolutely not. Auburn, no, I'm a, you were an Alabama no, I'm a man. diehard Alabama fan. That's perfect. These guys <laughs> are amazing. That's sick too. Now look at the other side of the slide. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see your reaction. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. You got me, guys. That's amazing. I love it. Hey guys, thanks for coming out to the range with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this gun. I hope you've enjoyed the little stupid skit that I did at the beginning. Um, I wanted to try it. Let me know how dumb it was. Also, thank you to Robert's Defense for sending that beautiful piece of machinery and also to Ear Shield and to Otis Technologies for hooking me up with all my cleaning supplies and my uh, ear pro and everything and also all of my steel targets are grizzly targets so uh, you'll find links to all that down in the description i want to thank you again roll tide on saturday and i'm gonna pray for you <sighs> i stepped in dog dookie while filming the Auburn portion of this video, so uh, roll tight. This is awesome. It still care. It still holds the wrong round, though. It's it's a 45 ACP. I guess that's amazing. <laughs>